reflection thinking about what you imagine hey guys welcome back to my channel as you guys could tell i can't talk very well i have latex on my face but today i wanted to do something different on my channel i'm not a very like experience on like ethics and makeup but i did add the james charles blank canvas and another instagrammer i will put his picture right here and i will link his instagram down below so i meshed both of them together and i created this gorgeous like newspaper canvas when i started doing makeup uh, when i started doing social media i wanted to be real i wanted to be honest i wanted to be a legend in the makeup art, uh, industry um there's a lot of amazing artists uh, out there so that's why i put real because i'm 100 percent honest with you guys with my reviews and i put legacy because makeup is a legacy um i don't know if you guys remember back in the days uh, when i started doing makeup i used to look up to kevin aquan he was amazing scott um and pat mcgrath they're freaking amazing artists so i wanted to create like a canvas on my face of what i went through through that path of becoming an artist obviously nowadays it's more about followers and everything but back in the day it was about artistry it was about helping others about creating some things amazing in the beauty industry and now um the beauty community it's still a wonderful place but a lot of people tend to make it more about the the numbers even brands do i'm sorry it's, it's honest brands don't want to work with smaller smaller instagrammers or um beauty gurus it does take a lot to be an artist it does take a lot to be on social media all the hate comments all the hate naysayers that you're not going to do it anything i want to benefit from other people not in a bad way just say like nicole concilio she's freaking amazing i love her technique she blends eyeshadow different the way it serves me so i do try her looks as well nikki tutorials she's freaking legendary in the youtube world and her benefit her benefits to me is the way she is with her followers like the way she, her uniqueness her talent and all that stuff and there's another person like jackie Ina. i love her empowerment towards women of color i love the way she helps women of color i love the way that she tried she tried and she did create more shades and color collaborated with Too Faced to create more shades for women of color because a lot of brands and a lot of known brands lack in that department. Um, a lot of people think that women of color will not be successful uh, in the in the industry of creating more shades that it won't be as successful as my skin or like lighter skin tones but that's not true. Um, the world has a lot of colors and everybody deserves to be loved and have their own shade of foundation Yeah, it's just foundation, but a little thing like that can make a woman of color feel like oh I'm not good enough for this so that Jackie Ina did that obviously um, Rihanna had the way for a lot of people with 40 shades um, But yeah, and then I have future which is I want to see what the future holds for me as an artist. Obviously, I'm not going to stop doing videos. It doesn't matter the following I have. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to see um, how to create this this gorgeous canvas look, I hope you guys like the little story I told you guys. Um, those, so then just keep on watching. We're going to be starting off with our eyes. As you guys could tell, I already primed and did my brows off camera just because that takes some time. Now I'm going to be going in with the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette in uh, Bling Boss. And I'm going to be grabbing the shade Hush Hush, which is like a mutual, like a neutral, cool tone, mauve brown. I'm just going to be using this as a transition shade uh, with a big fluffy brush. And then I'm going to be going into that same palette Bling Boss and grab the shade Rockstar. It's just like a deep red tone purple. And I'm just going to be starting to put this on the outer edge of my eye and slowly blending it into my crease area. I am going to be like winging it out as you guys can tell right here because I do want like a very lifted eye effect. Now I'm going to be going into this deep brown which is a mystic from the same bling boss palette and just blend the edges out. And this will just uh, darken the outer edge and give you guys like a more 
smoky sultry eye now i'm going to be grabbing berry treasure this brown is like super gorgeous it does have like reflex like gold glitter in it um and it's freaking amazing i adore this shade so i'm just gonna be placing this on the outer part of my lid and I'm blending a little bit into that purple just to make it very seamless and as always i'm gonna be cutting my crease because i do this pretty much in every freaking video just because i do want to um appear or illuminate that i have a bigger a crease area i mean a lid space because i do not have a lid space now i'm going to be grabbing glitz and then glam uh, on a small brush and packing this on top of that glitter before it dries out just because that pigmentation needs to be there because this color is freaking gorgeous the name pretty much sees it all the glitz and the glam it's freaking beautiful. Now I'm going to be grabbing again Berry Treasure and just blending the outer edges out because applying Glitz and Glam did take off a little bit of that shadow. And I'm going to be covering my lower lash line just to create a base for my lashes. And I ended up doing a wing liner. I know you can't fucking see it, but in my mind, you pretty much can. Okay? Now I'm going to be going into my foundation. I'm using my Wedding Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Desert desert beige i think and classic beige um i'm gonna be mixing them all over as you guys could tell i'm just applying um foundation to my cheek area i'm not gonna bring it bring it down because obviously we are gonna cover that with something else so um i do recommend just not going all the way down because you're just pretty much wasting a foundation now just gonna be doing my concealer i'm using my wedding wild concealer and the shade medium light um i'm just gonna be doing my face how i ever how i always do it um i was saying i'm gonna just bring it down because we are gonna be doing like this kind of special effects thing and i'm using my maybelline loose powder which i love this is my maybelline loose powder in the shade um 20 i think it's it's medium light i believe i just use this to set my under eye because it's very light for my face and i'm going to be grabbing my face powder which is my bh matte powder and i'm going to be setting my entire face now i'm going to be contouring my face using my circle beauty bronzer and the shade i forgot i will leave it down below and i'm using a bh cosmetics blending brush i believe it is um i think it's a foundation brush but i use it for bronzer because i love it now i'm going to be applying blush i'm using my mellow wine blush by wet and wild and i'm using a jacqueline hill x morphe blush brush which i pretty much end up liking i know in my review i said i didn't like it but i work with it so now i kind of like it and i'm using my wet and wild loose powder uh, loose glitter no it's loose highlighter in the shade written in the stars now i'm going to be going back into that same uh, rock star shade and applying it to my lower lash line just to add that dramatic thing and i'm going to be doing like a double wing liner as you guys could tell and i'm going to be grabbing hush hush and just blending it out using a little tiny tiny blending brush i don't know if you guys could tell but i did do a little like double wing liner situation now i'm going to be going into a liner like a, a liner like a lip liner that's close to my skin tone and i'm going to map out where i'm going to be doing like this mask type thing on my face as you guys can tell you can't hardly see it so i recommend using like a neutral tone or a white for it can be easier to erase now i got a little bit of my derma blend makeup remover um, it's like the milliker water or whatever it's called. I will leave it down below and I'm just gonna be erasing under that line because we're not gonna be needing and obviously latex does not um, stick to makeup that has foundation. This is the latex I'm gonna be using. This is liquid latex by Walmart. I did buy this at Walmart for like $10 and I did cut up a newspaper and you are gonna need a sponge wedges and a spatula to smooth things out. First, I'm gonna be growing a sponge, a wedge, or whatever you guys like to call them. And I'm gonna start placing that latex. And on top, I'm gonna to start placing all the newspaper on top. It doesn't matter the formation you go, just make sure you do place the newspaper. And obviously, you do wanna put latex on top. Um, when it's drying, it is gonna dry yellow, but um, obviously, at the end, we could put powder and remove that shininess and that yellow cast of latex but that's just latex latex does uh, dry out yellow 
and at the end I do put translucent powder and it's kind of looking this kind of looks freaking amazing now to be filling up all around my mouth area this is like the trickiest part because you do have to be cutting and placing obviously you don't want to cover your mouth because I am going to be putting a little bit of lipstick um so I'm just going to be doing layers and layers of um latex as you guys could tell here I'm already going into my nose this is like the trickiest part of my nose as you guys could tell I'm cutting obviously be careful you are you know, risk using um, scissors but um, I would have patience right here because it does take some time it did took me like probably like four times to uh, try and error just to remove it and put it back on but at the end it did work out and obviously layers of latex does work so I'm just gonna be fast forwarding this part for you guys so you guys can see the process and I will be back to show you guys what I end up doing with it So now this is the way it looks. Now I'm going to be going back into it and placing a little bit of latex and putting like meaningful words to me. So I put legacy, love, and I'm going to be being real because obviously in the media industry or in the public eye, you have to be real with yourself. And obviously everything is a battle. You don't get nothing for free. And obviously I'm going to put benefit because... Anybody can benefit from a beauty guru and a very famous word that I was called all my life, which fag, I know it's a really bad word, but, um, I've been called it a lot of times and that word pretty much makes me stronger and obviously I'm going to be applying California because that's where I'm from and obviously on my nose, I'm going to be putting control. Now I'm going to be going into my lips. I'm going to be overlining my lips just because I want to cover like the intention of the newspaper. So I'm just using a red lip liner by Italia Cosmetics in the shade Rich Red. I didn't make sure if this red did match with the eyes. I didn't think about it, but um, I kind of like it. So if you don't like it, it's not my fault. But I like the way it looks and I like the way it came out. I am applying my red lipstick before just because I'm going to be going into making pretty much a mess. So this is the hardest part from the tutorial using an applicator. I did like drip drops from my foundation just to make it blend into my skin. I had a very hard time because my foundation was thick. I don't have like liquidy foundation. So I had to mix it with a little bit of water and make it drip off my face. But at the end of the day, it did freaking work and it looked amazing. I'm going to be finishing off with the drops. Um, obviously you do have to have patience for these kind of looks. Make sure you don't frustrate because obviously at the end is what matters. The beginning always looks very rough. So wait for the final look. Well guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy watching this tutorial. I'm sorry that I'm talking like this, but I, I can't talk with this latex on my face. But yeah, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Leave me comments down below on what videos you would like to see next. Also, other products used and mentioned during this video will be down in my description box. Also, it's on my social media so you guys can follow me there. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.